local news that matters. You're watching KLBK bright and early. Welcome back. I am joined by Erin Gregg from Lubbock ISD. So Erin, what is new in this week's Out and About? Well, Sasha, Lubbock ISD is home to the Regional Day School Program for the Deaf. This program provides services for deaf and hard of hearing students in Lubbock and the surrounding areas. Recently, students and staff coordinated a special program to share what it is like to be deaf in a hearing world. Let's watch. World. Here at Overton, um, we're having an event that we're calling It's a Deaf Deaf World. We're asking that voices are off and that they get the full experience of learning how to sign and how to communicate using sign language. With the goal of promoting communication, interaction, and inclusion, students from elementary through high school led fun activities at Overton Elementary utilizing American Sign Language. But in deaf culture, the deaf people will flash lights, will tap on their shoulder, and wave to get someone's attention. It's their language. We want them to not only take ownership of this event and the activities they're leading, but we wanted them to take ownership of their language as well. Participants took part in a game of telephone, a color identification challenge, bingo, and a cookie walk. They could also spell their names with finger letter stamps and order snacks utilizing sign language. We really want to promote the positivity of different ways to communicate and how sign language, sign language really is an effective way to communicate with others. Organizers say the event also gives students the opportunity to be leaders in their schools. This is new, this is the first time we've been doing this, but the kids really were the ones that were so excited about it and so to get the word out we just we gave them the opportunity to get the word out and I think them being excited about it got everybody else excited about it so I'm, I'm very excited and grateful to see um, that we've had such a good turnout so far. We want to remind families that progress reports will be sent home on Thursday January 30th and students will not have class on Monday February 3rd as staff takes part in professional development. All right thank you so much Erin. Thank you.